Hey there, fishing girl. Welcome back to the channel. It's been a little bit since I've been able to get out to the beach by myself. We did, we've been done a couple of fishing girl meetups, but to just be able to come out and test out some things, I'm super pumped today because Fish Bites just came out with their purple bait. So I believe it's clam scented, purple and white. And if you watch my channel at all, you know how much I use uh, the sinker guys purple beads and I'm catching stuff on those all the time recently I tested out frisky fins uh, Rigs and the purple rig was Stuff was just going crazy on it. So I'm super pumped. I can't wait to try this. I'm down at Flagler Beach We're a couple hours from high tide, which is the best time to do it. I've just got my uh, <laughs> Cooler here. I've got my tackle bag. I got two rods. I got two sand spikes you can see the uh, broken pier in the background, so you know exactly where I'm at. South of the pier here. This was one of my favorite spots to fish before um, the beach ramps were broken and I couldn't get down here. So I'm just a couple rods. We're going to see what happens with these purple fish bites. Can't wait to see it. Let's get to fishing. So I've got this one all ready to go. I've got a rig that I hand tied on this one. Um, just double drop. I got the purple fish bites. He's got purple on one side, white on the other. And then just my salted shrimp that I've been using. I, I use this one that has these bright yellow floats. On my other rod, I'm gonna pick one that doesn't have any floats at all. Um, and then I might switch it out for frisky fins, but I really wanna keep to the integrity of these, just these fish bites and a salted shrimp and see what we can do. But we've got east winds today. So I'm hoping that this is cleaned up. It's been dirty. I'm hoping that we're cleaned up enough to get on some, some good fish. All right, my second rod ready to go. I've got the purple fish bites. This one I already had rigged up with a couple of uh, purple glass beads from the sinker guy. I use them so much. So we're just gonna keep those on there. There's nothing else on the top though, except for the fish bite and that salted shrimp. See, we got someone else fishing down there. They got several lines out. Looked like they were pulling something in earlier. So excited. Fling that out. It's just like right on that, or right on the sandbar there. So not too bad. I'll, I'll bring one of these in closer after a bit and see where the fish are at. Both of these are about the same distance, I think. So I'll change it up in a little bit. I might already be making a decision to move. Don't think I'm in a great spot right here. So I see a little spot over here. Looks like maybe a little hold. All right, this spot looks really nice. Look at the water. This looks nice. I don't know if you can tell from the video, but I'm just gonna cast this close. Yeah, that's perfect. That's right where I wanted it, actually. Oh, so this is, I use the weight sometimes of the rod to, help get my sand spike in. Got the rod here. It also gives some action to the bait in the water. So, could be helpful in more than one way. So I haven't had any bites yet. I've been playing around with distances. I moved locations, now I'm playing with this. I got that one really close, like right up over in there. And I got this one on the sandbar. I tried to get it over was not able to cast it over from here. And I'm not walking out into the water today. Hopefully we will get some fishy action. I know high tide is about five-ish, I think. I'll have to look at it again, it's five something. So usually the two hours before high tide is the best for this beach. So we'll see. I like the, this little hole here. I might move this rod over to this hole be right in front of that because you see that that looks fishy to me we got fred over here looking for handouts sorry bud i don't have anything yet yeah you best move away so i was getting hot in that jacket i thought it was going to be colder than it is it's not too windy it hasn't rained at all it was supposed to be raining so i almost didn't come and uh, I didn't care if it was raining, I wanted to be fishing. I got my son down here with me. He's a cross country and track runner, high uh, college in the NCAA. So he's he's getting his running time in uh, on the beach the last few minutes. Just waiting to see if something hits. So we'll see. 
it might just, maybe it's just off day for it. I don't know. I, I thought this was probably the best conditions to test this out. So we'll see. I'm not expecting a lot until like two hours before high tide. So I'll jump on Magic Seaweed and see what that is saying and let you all know. Here is Magic Seaweed for Flagler Pier. Right now water is 69 degrees. Waves two to three foot. High tide is at 502. So here it is 307 or about two hours out as of like a few minutes ago. So We'll see if the bite picks up. I'm hoping it does. If not, then we'll have to try another day, another time. Okay, I saw, looked like something might have hit this. Back up here and see what we see. It looks like it's acting funny. You can see both of them from here pretty well. Oh, yep, 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 yep. Oh my, it's really going. <laughs> Got. Oh, do we have doubles? Oh, we got a bluefish. He is most definitely not a keeper. Oh crap, I don't have my, I don't have anything to measure with. But that doesn't look like 13 to the fork or 12 to the fork to me. So we will let this dude go. Hey buddy. fish on the fish bites. Purple. Dude, I feel your heart beating. All right, I'll get you out. Come on. Let's get you off of here. Let go. All right. Yeah, he looks like maybe 10. 10 to the fork, maybe. Nice little guy, though. He really, he really slammed it. All right, dude. So I wanted to show you guys these shells on the beach here. We got this one, this one. Look at the colors on this. See that purple, purple and white. This is what Fish Bites is going for with these baits. Um, there was, oh, that's right, I moved. There was a bunch down there, but everywhere I go on this beach, I'm seeing purple shells. There's another one here. So, you really want to try to emulate the colors that you're seeing on the beach. And this bait, let me just grab a piece here real quick, show you what they've done. Here you've got these, uh, purple baits. There's, these shells are all different shades of purple. The insides of the shell are a deeper purple. So yeah, I'm really super happy that Fish Bites has done this. Purple is a great, great color to fish with because we've got all the natural bait that has those purple colors. So got one blue fish, we'll see what we can get next. So nothing is biting on these and those have these yellow floats. So my thought is let's take the yellow off. I want to put this purple rig back on from frisky fins that I was using the other day. I did have my my thing to measure the fish. So that's that's good. He thinks I've got something. Michael's trying to feed him. Maybe hold it away from like all my stuff, maybe. <laughs> Fred, he's trying to give you something, Fred. See? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's salted, dude, sorry. Maybe he doesn't like salted shrimp. All right, we got something really hitting hard here. I want to keep this one. Don't want it to pop off. What do we got? Oh, that's a not too bad whiting. That's what we're looking for. That's a whiting. 
That is dinner. All right. I'll help you cook. On the purple. No. Be cool. Uh, my son had a hard time with me gilling and gutting the fish. That's, that's a little, a little much for him right now. Well, we caught a couple fish with those new fish bites. Wasn't what I was really, I was really hoping for a lot of fish, but aren't we all? <laughs> nice little blue fish, and I got a whiting to take home, so I can't complain too much. Got to enjoy some time with my kids on the beach, and that is priceless. If you have used those new fish bites and uh, had luck with them, let me know. Put in the comments below what, how uh, you were using them and uh, what you caught with it, and I'd love to hear it. If you like the content, push the like, push the subscribe, hit that notification bell, and as always, good luck. Good luck. <laughs> I can't do this today. <laughs> and as always, God bless tight lines and we'll see ya.